I was born in Kingston, Jamaica. Moved to Miami at the age of six. Grew up in very humble beginnings. I remember um, not being able to eat sometimes. I also remember the crime at the age of 15. I snuck out to visit a friend who got locked up um, in juvie. I saw what jail really looks like inside, mold on the walls, people screaming, people scratching the walls with their bare fingernails. When I really saw what that looked like, I, I knew I didn't want that for my life. My parents had a very, very small bookstore. One day, this guy walks in with his pilot's uniform and his hat on, cool looking dude. And he said, hey son, have you ever thought about becoming a pilot? I was only 15 years old, and the first words out of my mouth was, I don't think I'm smart enough to fly a plane. He offered to take me out to the airport and actually take a tour of the aircraft he flew. I'll never forget that experience. He sat me down in the captain's seat and said, go ahead, play with all the buttons. And that's what I did, and I just started to ask questions. What is it like to go to another country? What is it like to eat their food? What do you do if you have this challenge or have this problem? And that's when I realized that aviation would really be my way out of the hood. And I had to apply myself, take math and science. I earned my first pilot license at the age of 19. One day, it hit me that I should just try to fly around the world. I wanted to see the world. You know, it's just something that fascinated me. I couldn't afford first class tickets to fly everywhere, so I just built a project that would enable me to see different cultures and meet different people. But of course, if you want to fly around the world, the first thing you need is an airplane. And the airplane cost $650,000. So coming from where I come from, I was just a natural hustler. So I decided, well, what if I went after every single part from different manufacturers and got them to donate it? It was a long shot, but it worked, and I was able to get a $650,000 plane through donated parts. When I departed out of Miami to fly around the world, about 5,000 people showed up to the airport, to my surprise. Major international media was there, and people were saying, go Barrington, go, go Barrington, go. And I was laughing to myself for three reasons. One, no one knew my aircraft had no de-icing, nor any weather radar. Second, no one knew that I didn't know how to swim. And third, no one knew that I only had $30 in my pocket. So I'm looking at these signs saying, go Barrington, go. And I'm saying to myself, where am I really going? I only have $30 in my pocket. 